Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button, girl. I'd be very grateful. Um, how are you guys? I hope ooh, I hope you're doing really, really good. I am so, I am so tanned and burning. I need to, I had, I had to close the curtains, bitch. I just need to be like in, in, in air conditioning and, and in very dim lighting because I, just, I cannot do sun anymore, girl. I, I am so tan you, but it was so, it's so funny because if you like, if you see my legs, right? Like they're super tan, but if you see like my booty, super white like i look like like tan 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 white tan 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 is the funniest thing in the world um but yeah so welcome back to my that i don't know why i just told you all that bitch uh, anyways we got to talk about this very famous family um will smith's family now will smith has had incredible success throughout his life i mean we all know him from the fresh prince of bel-air to men in black to um judgment day what is it you know the alien one whatever i don't know the name of it um uh, what else movies has he done aladdin um his of course music career getting jiggy with it and miami um i mean he's done so much in his life it's actually crazy jada his his beautiful wife also has had such an incredible career in acting and they're both very big forces in hollywood right i mean there's also the slap you know so many things but um he's actually opening up because not everything in hollywood is glitter and fabulous you guys know also that their their children a uh, willow and Jaden, right Jaden, girl right yes Jaden, right girl was it Jaden? girl is his name Jaden? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Jaden, right? Karate Kid came out. Girl, what the frick is his name? No, it's Jaden. Yeah, Jaden, girl. Believe in yourself, Sebastian. Believe in yourself. You know these things. Um, Willow and Jaden, of course, Jaden starred in Karate Kid. He was also very good friends with Justin. So he was also like, you know, kind of tied to the hip with Justin Bieber. Willow Smith came out with her big ass freaking banger. I whip my head back and forth. I whip my head back and forth. Now I whip it. Oh, girl, I was obsessed with that song. You know, they had a lot of success as a family. I mean, you know, they were, you know, at, at some point, like, you know, the, the, the Hollywood, you know, it family for, you know, um, I mean, and this is his other son he had in his previous marriage, but the, the, the Jaden and Willow are the ones really who have, who, who know, who's also, uh, made a name for themselves. Of course, Jaden also, you know, really good friends with the Cardat and with the Jenner girls. I mean, very famous, but this is such a good topic and conversation to talk about because, um, Will Smith actually opened up about, um, the family and the success. So he says the following, he says, I told myself I would never have that kind of energy with my family. And I had a dream, an idea of a family I was building. Pretty much 2010 to 2012, I had achieved everything I had ever dreamed. Um, despite the substantial success his family had achieved, the actor admitted that nobody in his family was happy. Nobody in his family was happy. Um, it continues to say that, um, girl, hang on, bitch. Um, no one wanted to be in a platoon, he shared. Willow was the first one to begin the mutiny, and it was my first realization that success and money don't mean happiness. Up until that point, I really believed that you could succeed your way to a house and a family, and you could win your way to happiness, he added. Um, so I found that so, so interesting because, you know, I live in Hollywood and in Hollywood, everyone has dreams of money, of success, of fame. You know, everyone is here. You can smell the hunger. You can smell the thirst. You can smell the desperation here, man. Um, and, you know, in Hollywood, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like people are just so you know, and New York, of course, you know, those are like the two main ones, but like they're, they're so focused and, and so, you know, desperate for a dream. And they believe honestly that money and success and fame 
can bring you, you know, endless happiness. And that's so far from the truth because I've always said, you know, the in my in my whole lifetime i've met a lot of rich successful people i've i've of course met you know people who aren't uh financially stable don't have success who you know are struggling i grew up struggling as well and the majority of the time you guys the people who are like you know working and and doing you know like an honest day of living and you know whatever even though they probably have stress about bills and stuff oftentimes their family unit is so much tighter because they they count on one another they they appreciate one another more they're more humble they're more uh, knowing the worth of of working of getting up early you know my mother growing up had three jobs in one day just to to feed me you know just to to give me a, you know the best childhood she could and I grew up at a very young age with my eyes wide open, understanding that my situation was different than my 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 classmates. You know, I I I didn't have lunchables, I didn't have the things that they had, but I appreciated so much the things I did have. And seeing her work so much and seeing her sacrifice so much at a very young age, she tried so hard to like pretend everything was picture perfect. But I knew, so at a very young age, I kind of knew the the, the sacrifice and, and, and how to be grateful for what you have. And when you grow up with a lot of money, you, most of the times, if you're not raised right, you become entitled. You become like you are owed the world. Nothing is ever good enough. You always have to keep up with the Joneses to, to be the most popular, to have the latest iPhone. And you don't appreciate things, you know. I'm so sorry to mention, but you have people like Kylie and Kendall, like Hailey Bieber. They all have this like snotty attitude that just is, it, you can tell that they just, you know, just really believe that they deserve everything, you know, it, but not in a good way, but like in, a, in, in their entitlement, you know, you can just smell the entitlement coming out of them. And then you have someone like, you know, Selena Gomez, who, who really seems so humble and such a hard worker and so grateful for what she has and 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 that is why you can also tell that you know you you appreciate most things so i believe that you know this is such a great lesson what will smith said that not everything in life is money and success and fame you know and i think that one of the things that we all have to remember is that whatever we dream about we have to understand what is it about that dream that we want the most right because if you want let's say if you want to be famous why do you want to be famous what are you going to do with that fame once it gets here what are you going to do with it how are you going to help people i believe that in order for the world to keep turning we must do good we must help we must we must use our gifts to 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 bring out goodness in the world if that makes sense and for example, you would think, well, what the fuck are you doing? You're spilling tea of celebrity culture. I am. And I don't know if I'm doing good in the world. I try and do it as great as possible and as light as possible and as, you know, put in messages in my, in my tea. But I do think that a lot of us have a responsibility for everything. And we have to be able to, to look at our lives and say, damn we're blessed you know even if we don't have it all whatever we think all is we have to be appreciative and i think that lesson that you know the smiths learn i think that probably changed them a little bit and it kind of let them understand that you know money's not everything you know Will willow smith she put out that song and maybe one more song but then she changed her whole dynamic now she's like a rocker punk rocker and Jaden, you know he's a very like poetic you know person he's very uh, into his feelings and and you know they're not you know you don't see them stumbling out of you know nightclubs you don't see them you know on shopping sprees i think that they probably had like a family meeting and said you know we need to talk and and jada uh had red talk red, red table talk where her and her mother and willow would sit and really talk about things so i think that's such a great thing and i think that uh, if you if you look at the kardashians they were they did have some money but they didn't have the money they have now and i think that 
the way they grew up was so much more sheltered and so much more, um, you know, they saw the hunger of their older sisters, Kim, Courtney, and Chloe, that they kind of just looked at, that they saw their mother spend hours on phone calls and meetings, you know, rather than being with them. And the end goal was more money, was more fame, was more success. So I think at, at some point, Kylie Jenner is giving off the vibes that, you know, she is hardly ever in the show. Kendall's hardly ever in the show. They're trying to separate themselves as much as they can. I want to believe they're good in people and think that they want to separate themselves because they want to be better and they want, they want you know, but something tells me that's not the case, boo. But um, but yeah, it, it, it must be very difficult to grow up in that you have paparazzi, you have people, you know, uh, following you and, and, and you can never really have like a normal dinner because, you know, you're always getting, you know, stopped and the autograph and the picture and, you know, you're trying to have a family outing to go see Santa Claus in a mall and you cause a sensation, you know, a whole scene, you know. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love our little sit down conversations. I think they're so interesting and they really, you know, who knew that you can use celebrity gossip to to find, you know, important messages that I think deserve to be shared you know but anyways just silly little orange me bitch i look like a damn oompa loompa but anyways i love you all so much i'm so grateful for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.